Uh, so I'll start off by saying a little bit about global assessments of biodiversity, uh, then say some of the issues or questions, and then I go through four case studies. Uh, so the first one was my UK Biodiversity Action Plan, and we mentioned that on Tuesday, uh, but we did a value transfer study there. So what we had was we split the study into eight regions of the UK, and we tried to value or transfer values from one region to another and see if that valuation transfer worked. Uh, the second study is a, a study or review I did for DEFRA looking at best practice for valuation in developed countries, or sorry, in developing countries. So most of these study or valuation techniques have been developed for undertaken in Europe and North America. Can we simply apply those in developing countries? The third one is a study I did was involved in the Solomon Islands, and that was a choice experiment there. And what we tried to do in that study was take some of the recommendations we had in this DEFRA review and apply it to the Solomon Island case study, and it's quite a neat study, so uh, you should enjoy that. And the fourth one is uh, currently people in the Scottish Agriculture College are doing an upscaling exercise on TEEB and we've got some provisional results, so I'll, I'll show you them. They're not published yet, but uh, they're as good as uh, to show you what, what's happening in terms of that. So global assessments, the first kind of famous one was Constanza, which I think you've all heard about, and the team interim report also used a global assessment. And both of those studies were based on upscaling studies from local valuation exercises and try and upscale it to the rest of the world. So if we're looking at value transfer and upscaling, what does that mean? So say we've got uh, a study here on uh, say the west coast of America, and from that study site, we did a, a valuation, and we've worked out a dollar value for that study site. So maybe a forest somewhere in the west coast of America. Then can we take that study and say, okay, from that information from a study in the West Coast of America, can we say something in Connecticut about it? And you can probably think, well, it's all America, you've got similar incomes, uh, uh, the ecosystem type is quite similar, so there's a good chance that you can transfer for values from West to East Coast America. So you've got a good chance of doing it. What about if we try and transfer this American study to Europe? Well, then again, we've got similar incomes to America. Uh, there might be different cultural elements, but some of the, and the ecosystems might be quite similar. So the chances are that you're probably going to be reasonably successful on that. But maybe a big question is, can we take a study from America and translate it to Africa or South America, particularly when incomes are different, uh, the ecosystems might be different, and we're trying to infer values of ecosystem services from one site to another, and that may be questionable. So if we think about global assessments for value transfer, what are some of the key challenges to it? First of all, is does actual value transfer work? And can we test it in a controlled setting? So to answer that, I'll do my UK Biodiversity Action Plan, where I'm transing, transferring values across different regions of UK where it's based on the same survey instrument. So we should be able to do value transfer in that setting. If we can't do it in that control setting, then it does question whether you can transfer across regions using different studies. 